Welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tips. So, you're ready to teach remotely using Microsoft Teams. Well, in today's video, I'll show you five common mistakes to avoid when managing your meetings and teaching remotely using Teams. Let's jump in. Number one, turning up after your students have arrived. Just like in face-to-face -face sessions, you need to be in the room before your students to ensure you have a clean start to the session. Aim to be there at least five minutes before, and it's a good idea to mute everyone's microphones until you're ready to start. To do that, click on the participants tab and then mute all. Number two, not inviting key inclusion staff. Making sure everyone has the same opportunity to learn should be no different in online teaching. Ensure you invite key inclusion staff to your sessions. There is also the option to add live captions to your live sessions in Teams, which you can access from here. It isn't perfect, but together with my next tip, your students should be able to follow along with a session and recap later. Number three, not recording sessions. Not recording the lesson means you lose the opportunity to turn the session from a standalone learning event into a learning resource that can be revisited and repurposed over and over again. When you record a session in a Teams meeting, a recording is uploaded to Microsoft Stream once the session has ended. Stream automatically adds a transcript and the video can be watched with closed captions enabling everyone to learn. Make sure you let everyone know from the start that the session will be recorded. Number four, not setting clear learning intentions and expectations of behavior. Like with all teaching and learning, clearly communicating your learning intentions and setting your expectations for behavior right from the get-go is essential for a successful session. And this becomes even more important when teaching online. Make links to any previous learning clear and ensure everyone knows what they're expected to learn and to contribute. Ensure you are clear with regards to talking over each other, the use of GIFs and emojis, and ask the students to mute their mics when they're not talking as this helps to manage the session. If you find you have people messing about, you can mute them yourself or, in extreme cases, remove them from the session. To do this, go to their name in the participants list and click the ellipsis next to their name and then select remove. Number five, not ensuring the session has ended. Another classic mistake is not ensuring the session has ended for everyone. At the moment, the organizer of a meeting cannot end the meeting for everyone in Microsoft Teams. This means that the meeting can continue without the organizer. Now, this might be okay for meetings, but if you want your teaching sessions to end, it's worth asking everyone to leave the meeting themselves using the phone icon on the floating menu bar and only end your own participation once you've ensured everyone else has left. This is particularly useful if you're recording the session and want to ensure everyone is aware that the session will still be recording while ever anyone is still on the call. So, there's five common mistakes you can avoid in your next live session when teaching with Microsoft Teams. Thank you.